get started, we would like to invite Karen Bird uh, to do a land recognition for us to start this off in a good way. And Karen, if you don't know, is Associate Branch Manager and Investment Advisor with RBC Dominion Securities and a member of the Bashwana First Nation. Thank you, Karen. Follow you, your lead and uh, use stage left. <laughs> Thank you, uh, everybody, for coming out tonight. It's so nice to see everyone. And I'm Kiaos Kwandish Nakaz Makwadodam Bauting Dom Jabab. I am a little Thunder Woman of the Bear Clan from Batchwana First Nation. And I wanted to um, give you a little story or a teaching about land acknowledgements. I find in my uh, neck of the woods in corporate Canada that land acknowledgements have become uh, ticking a box. They've become very methodical. Um, the authenticity and the feeling has come out of them. So I wanted to give you a little bit of history of, of where they come from. And <clears throat> I think maybe the purpose of them might have been shared when they first started, but from our perspective, land acknowledgements were also something that we did as a people. So we always acknowledge the land from a personal perspective in terms of thanking the Creator for what we've been given from Mother Earth, for all the things that come from that, from our own stance. But if I traveled down the highway or if I traveled to another community and we're in ceremony or we're gathering, the very first thing that I would say would be to thank that community for allowing me to come and, and be with them and be there. It's not uh, dissimilar to when you go to someone's house and thank them for having you you know, over for a visit. It's the same kind of idea. And so I think the next time you're doing a land acknowledgement or some you've been asked to do one or somebody's doing one, think about it from that way, the authenticity of when you're recognizing the land that you're on, it's just simply, you know, acknowledging uh, whose, whose land it is, whose house you're in, the place that you're visiting, whatever it might be, um, and take a little bit of time to learn about that community, what their name is, uh, what they're interested in, what their community is doing, what they're struggling with, how can you how you can partner with them. So um, today we're on the ancestral and traditional lands of my community, Batchewana First Nation, Garden River First Nation. We have a lot of Missinabe Cree First Nation people um, that are in our community as well, uh, Métis and also Inuit and, and Indigenous people from across the country. Um, so thank you for uh, listening to my little story and hopefully that helps with uh, land acknowledgements in the future. Thank you, Big Leach, Karen. Um, so, uh, a little bit more about us, Northern Ontario Angels. Um, we've been around since 2005. We're a non-for-profit, and we are in eight chapter communities across the region. Uh, Sault Ste. Marie, obviously, being uh, one of them. And so, delighted to be here this evening uh, to share a little bit more about the work that we're doing. And really want to thank um, our partners. Uh, and I, to simplify, I think we've got three partners, um, key, key stakeholders. There are, are entrepreneurs that entrust us with uh, their innovations uh, to move forward, to become investor ready. Um, we have our ecosystem partners, uh, SMIC, the Economic Development Corporation, Chamber of Commerce, uh, those in the private sector that help refer deals to us. And then our investors, without our network uh, in, of investors, uh, deals don't get signed. So this is personal money that's going into companies to grow. So thank you very much to all three of these uh, groups that, that trust us and, and support us in, in, in our deal flow. Um, also really want to thank our two board of directors from the Northern Ontario Angels, uh, Nathan Duell and Dan Hollingsworth. Um, the great supports to us and uh, appreciate you taking the time to be here this evening. Um, so this evening is going to be a lot of fun. We're, um, we've got two companies that we're going to showcase. Uh, that are disruptive companies in the innovation economy. Uh, they're here with, uh, with roots in, in Sault Ste. Marie. Uh, we're going to hear from Nevin uh, later on. He's a serial entrepreneur and talk about the journey of becoming uh, an entrepreneur. Uh, and then, uh, because we live in Northern Ontario and travel is unpredictable, our keynote speaker, uh, Gilberto Gandra, uh, was, uh, had some flight complications. <laughs> so I guess his plane was really close to landing. Uh, and it turned around and he's gone back to, to Minneapolis. So I think we're going to try and we're going to remote him in. Um, and if that doesn't work, if technology fails us, uh, we're not settling, but our, our good friend Chad Plops, and where's Chad? Chad's over there. He's our consultant from, uh, from Perry Sound and made the trek over here today. Uh, can fill in for Gilberto, they're good buddies, and uh, you know, can, uh, can keep us entertained this evening if, if technology fails. So 
Um, anyways, thank you so much for being here this evening. I appreciate there's a lot of stuff going on, so thank you for investing your time to, to be here with us and uh, to, to learn about what we're up to. So uh, without further ado, I'd like to invite uh, His Worship, Matthew uh, Shoemaker, Mayor of Sault Ste. Marie, to uh, share some remarks as well. <laughs> so thanks everybody I was worried for a minute there that I was going to be expected to sing when Irish eyes are smiling and if uh, Gilberto couldn't zoom in so I'm glad that that didn't happen uh, good evening everyone it's great to be with you here tonight for the start of the Venture to St. Marie conference I had the pleasure of meeting with Ian and Michael earlier today in my office and I got a great sense of uh, how this uh, conference fits into the greater spoke of Northern Ontario Angels uh, you know, uh, mission and, and, and objectives. So uh, great that this is being hosted here in Sault Ste. Marie. So on behalf of the City of Sault Ste. Marie, I'd like to welcome uh, everybody here who's here from locally and anyone from out of town. I would ask that anyone from out of town, please be sure to spend a lot of money while you're here because we do <laughs> like to have you. Um, I want to recognize and commend the uh, facilitators and the uh, partners in this conference. So we've of course got Northern Ontario Angels, we've got uh, BDO Canada, Nathan Duell's here, so thank you Nathan. Uh, Sault Ste. Marie Chamber of Commerce, I saw Rory's here, yes. The Innovation Centre, Peter is uh, right there, okay, hello Peter. Um, Algoma University, Bearskin and Parr, and the City of Sault Ste. Marie, and our economic development team is here as well, so thank you. After meeting with Ian and uh, Michael today, I was so impressed that I started uh, uh, digging deeper into Northern Ontario Angels. Uh, and noticed or note that they were recently recognized for an extremely impressive achievement, which is that they were recognized as the top angel organization in North America. So, a round of applause for that. <laughs> Since its inception in 2005, Northern Ontario Angels has closed 481 deals worth a total of about 713 million in economic activity and created or maintained 5,000 full-time jobs across the North. So they have had, and they continue to have, a tremendous impact on the, North, the North's community and on Sault Ste. Marie's community as well. So thank you for all that you do. A strong culture of entrepreneurship is vital to the health of our economy. Most job growth today is driven by small and medium-sized enterprises. However, for many entrepreneurs, particularly those beginning their careers, Taking the step moving from employment to self-employment can be a daunting proposition. Initiatives such as the Venture Sault Ste. Marie uh, event that is being held tonight help those interested in self-employment bridge the gap between merely thinking about entrepreneurship to actually doing entrepreneurship and highlighting some of the outstanding success of previous entrepreneurs with Northern Ontario Angels gives that comfort to those who are thinking of making that leap. Success in business or in any facet of life is easier when people work together and the path to achievement becomes easier to navigate when communities work together. And Venture Sault Ste. Marie, the conference, is helping to develop a system that encourages that success. As community leaders, it's important for our small businesses and entrepreneurs to feel that they will, we will have their backs if they establish in our community and they, in turn, will contribute to the development of a stronger community if they do succeed. Tonight's event is an example of how knowledge and talent in our city can work together and create opportunity. And I look forward to continuing to work with Northern Ontario Angels and with the private sector investors in our community to enhance the opportunities that are available in our community and across the North. So thank you for the opportunity to say a few words, and I hope everyone enjoys the evening. I'll start with uh, Nathan Duell, who's partnered with BDO Canada LLP. And Nathan is also the treasurer of Northern Ontario Angels, and I get the chance to work with him quite often, and it's always a delight. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you. I do have the pleasure to represent BDO tonight. Uh, BDO is one of the largest accounting firms in Northern Ontario, uh, from uh, Kenora, Fort Francis, Thunder Bay, um, Dryden, Sault Ste. Marie, North Bay. We have about 20 partners and about 175 employees. So uh, Northern Ontario Angels is very important to our firm because entrepreneurs are what drive our success. Uh, so uh, I really do appreciate 
these events and uh, we're very fortunate to have Ian. We're not going to replace you Ian with Mayor Shoemaker. <laughs> well not yet anyways. <laughs> but uh, we, we do really appreciate uh, what Northern Ontario Angels and I'm also the treasurer for the organization and it was, it was kind of uh, embarrassing when they asked me two years ago. I didn't know what Northern Ontario Angels was and what they did. And I was embarrassed, and then I was. Then I thought, how many other professionals don't know what Northern Ontario Angels does? You know, I deal with probably 500 entrepreneurs, and I didn't know what it was. These are the events that are going to help increase our profile in Northern Ontario, because we're not Toronto. I don't want to be Toronto, but um, we need to work hard ourselves to make success in Northern Ontario because unfortunately nobody else is going to. So thank you for coming out tonight and thank you for supporting Northern Ontario Angels. Thank you. Um, next we'd really like to uh, invite one another, our uh, key sponsors and key partners, uh, the Sault Ste. Marie Innovation Centre uh, and Peter Bruins, Executive Director. Thanks Peter. Keep it short. Uh, I, I'd like to welcome everybody. It's great to actually see this number of people get together for an event like this. Uh, entrepreneurs and investors, like connecting those two parties together in an arena where we understand that both of them take the risk, put the energy in, put the passion in to understand the deal, and then somebody writes a check, somebody takes a check, and they convert that into a business that works. The courage it takes on both sides of that equation, I think most of us don't appreciate what it takes, so I really have to hand it to both the entrepreneur and the investor to come together to actually help these deals come to fruition. That's how cool companies are made. Years ago, I'm only 36 years old. <laughs> years ago, I started a company that was based in China, uh, and it was a private hospital. And so I had the idea I was the entrepreneur. And the battle it took to formulate the business plan, bet my own money, get the thing ready for financing, and then ultimately get it financed in Asia, uh, and then put it all together, and then put the team together. The courage it takes for the investor at that time to bet on us, a Greenfield project, uh, that even had to acquire the land to get the licenses. And then the courage it took for me and my partners, who both uh, probably worked 18 hours a day for a year and a half to put the financing together. That courage of both parties is something that unless you've lived it or you're close to somebody that's lived it, you don't really appreciate it. So I'm really anxious to hear the stories of the two entrepreneurs tonight because that's what SMIC does, that's what NOA does. We are part of the ecosystem to help these people take their ideas and kick it up a notch. And I just cheer for them all the time. I love seeing an entrepreneur do their thing. Uh, I have a team here. Adelke, Taylor, Caitlin, Lori, and Wendy are all here. If anybody wants uh, information about the Innovation Center, come see any of us. We're happy to talk to you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Peter. And, and I agree. We, uh, we work well together and um, you know, lift all boats with the entrepreneurs and common clients that, that we work with. Um, I'd also like to invite uh, Rory Ring, our CEO of the uh, Sault Ste. Marie Chamber of Commerce, uh, and thank uh, Rory for his uh, email blasts and all that kind of stuff to make sure that we had a, had a lot of bodies in the room tonight. So, Rory, come on. Thank you, Ian. I don't even have to say anything. I was going to steal all Peter's time. He told me he was going to be short. Uh, well, thanks very much, everybody, for coming out. It's uh, it's really awesome to see the turnout here, and uh, we're proud to have Karen Bird as our current president, and uh, Michael Stone as our past president, and you'll be in very good hands. Michael and I have known each other, I think, since 2006, and, you know, the brain pan on this guy is absolutely huge, and he's very personable. 
Uh, great combination. He's actually so smart he burnt the hair right off his scalp. <laughs> uh, so that's the kind of friendship we have. <laughs> so it's great, you know, and, and the Northern Ontario Angels, I can't, I can't see really how important it is to have somebody to bridge the valley of death in many of our companies. You know, where you hit that, where you've exhausted every source of financing, traditional and non-traditional, where you need that parachute to carry you across the valley of death so that you can survive and have the kind of job impacts and investment impacts that Northern, Ant Northern Ontario Angels has been able to achieve. It is absolutely phenomenal. So, you know, we do a lot of advocacy work at the Chamber of Commerce and we advocate on behalf of entrepreneurs in terms of access to capital and how government needs to make access to capital for our entrepreneurial community more accessible less red tape and more substantial because when you're competing with the brain drain in the United to the United States it's absolutely critical that we have fostered an entrepreneurial ecosystem like you see here today not just in Sault Ste. Marie but right across Canada and that takes the, the you know the, the power of the network the membership and it's absolutely critical to have the membership and that network come together in the province it's 157 chambers Across the country, it's 450 chambers that represent the business community and a number of issues that are absolutely critical to creating that entrepreneurial investment climate that we need. So thank you very much for everybody attending.